The inhabitants of the village of Ayla overlooking the sea were substituting on the whale hunting and it was forbidden for them to hunt on Saturdays. But because of their corruption and oppression, the livelihood disappeared throughout the week and the fish did not appear except on the Sabbath. Wake up, Meman, wake up! Shamun's boat has sailed and will hunt whales before you. Our house has run out of the food. You must come back with a good catch. A good catch. The biggest fish will be mine. And you will know the value of your husband, Meman, the chief of the fishermen in the village of Isla. Where did the fish go, O oh, Amun? I don't know, Chief Fisherman. Maybe we need to go further out to the sea. More than that, I don't see. Just the beach. Are you sure the nets are in order? I checked it myself before sailing. How does not a single fish appear? This is the will of God, O oh, Shamkun, my brother. The hunter must make the effort. As for the hunting itself, it is a provision from God. We do nothing on the sub, as our law commands us. So why is God punishing us? This is a question that does not befit God to test his servants with good and evil as well. It is a test of patience and you should be thankful in all cases. Why is Maimon's boat approaching us like that? Hmm, the storm is fear. Shall we go back to the village? You may go. I will not go back except with a good catch. Say, God willing, Maimon. What is this fire on Saturday? <laughs> What's wrong? This is forbidden. The law of Torah forbid us to light a fire on the Sabbath. But the weather is so cold that our limbs are almost frozen. Let's go to the temple where the heart is warmed by prayer and supplication to God. Meman, Meman, will you spend your whole life sleeping? Today is Saturday, off work. Why are you waking me up? The men will all go to pray for sustenance. So I'd worship here while I sleep. You have the right to sleep, unjust man. <laughs> Look, look, Shamkun, look! I can't believe what all these fish are. It is enough to feed a village for an entire year. Let's go and hunt it. Are you crazy? Today is Saturday, you idiot. We are forbidden to fish on the <laughs> sub. Yes, yes, I remember, but it's... <laughs> but it's an opportunity. Hmm, and what will we say to the Lord of Moses when we meet him? We used to exploit the opportunity. We are hungry and poor, and God will not be angry if we go hunting on the day of prohibition. Do you think so? Do you think? Fear God is what we are experiencing already not enough for you. We will fish tomorrow morning, God willing, as the Sharia commands. Where did the fish go? And where did the huge species go? We have seen them with our own eyes as they jumped into the water. I don't know. How can all these fish disappear in a jeffy? Sir, shall we go further into the sea? No use. Let's go back. Let's go. واسألهم عن القرية التي كانت حاضرة البحر إذ يعدون في السبت إذ تأتيهم حيتانهم يوم سبتهم شرعا إذ تأتيهم حيتانهم يوم سبتهم شرعا ويوم لا يسبتون لا تأتيهم كذلك نبلوهم بما كانوا يفسقون وَإِذْ قَالَتْ أُمَّةٌ مِّنْهُمْ لِمَ تَعِظُونَ قَوْمًا اللَّهُ مُهْلِكُهُمْ أَوْ مُعَذِّبُهُمْ عَذَابًا شَدِيدًا 
قالوا معذرة إلى ربكم ولعلهم يتقون We have gathered today to discuss the dangers from Inan of the disappearance of fish. The nets come back from the sea wet with salty water and there is no fish here. Well expressed, sir. The winter this year is very cold. So where do we feed ourselves and our children? The fish act as if they are teasing us. They appear on the day you know fishing is forbidden and then disappear for the rest of the week. That's right men, fish are challenging us. Hear me, O people of the village of Isla, that God is testing us with what is happening. So let us be patient and strive to go out to the sea and continue to try to fish. Who knows, perhaps God will remove the calamity from us and expand our livelihoods. This is surrender, Samhun. The fish deceive us and deal with us with the greatest amount of cruelty and deception. And we will not let them mess with us after today. What does this mean? We shall see. Why did you gather us, old hunters? So that we may buckle up and solve the food problem. How? Can that happen? Yes, we can do a lot. Hear me well. The fish are deceiving us. So why don't we deceive them too? <laughs> Sorry, I don't understand what you mean. We will cast our nets into the sea on Saturday and they will be filled with whales. But hunting is forbidden on Saturdays. Don't interrupt me, you idiot. I said we will only cast the nets on Saturday to see the fish and when dawn breaks on Sunday, we will close to nets to the fish before they seep into the sea. Thus we have fulfilled the teaching of our law which forbid hunting on the sub and at the same time we have saved ourselves and our children from starvation. Well, it's a great opinion. Come on Shamkun, hurry up! Tighten the nets, chief fisherman! Lord your wife, you will wake the villagers by shouting like this. Let's break up now. Good morning, Maman. I wish you a good hunt. <laughs> Me too. Yes, I mean no. I forgot. I am going to get it. Samhun will doubt on us now and will come to know the trick. We do not say either and then come back before him and take out the nets from the small stones. Yes, this is the best opinion. Look big fisherman, that's the biggest catch of our whole lives. Pull out the nets in silence and hurry before the rest of the hunters return. Oh, good luck. Uh, I can't get out the nets alone. <laughs> <laughs> we are all going to lose it because of Saturday. We work together. We do not accept arguing. Remember that there are no fish in the whole village except with us. Where did you get the fish? I too was in the sea and caught nothing. This is an admission of my skill and your lack of knowledge. It is a trick. You fished on Saturday? Fresh fish bears witness to your claim. You threw the nets yesterday on the day of prohibition and raised them today. Yes, I did. What's your concern in this? Listen, O Maman, we have endured your greed and your corruption, but we cannot bear to anger God, circumvent our law, and remain silent. Torment will come upon us all. If you don't like the situation, get out of the village and invite it to us. It is our village and it is your village. We will not get out of it. Listen, men, let us build a wall that separates the two groups. I agree with you on this suggestion, so we are not bothered by the spitful and losers. And I agree so that my eyes do not fall into an act that angers God. 
take, take, and give thanks to the Lord who provided us with this food. Tomorrow, things will improve. God willing, as for this Saturday, we must devote ourselves to worship and supplication. The idea of making a fire on Friday was a great idea. Yes, we warm up on Saturday without the guilt of setting the fire. Did you throw the net into the sea? <laughs> For sure! And tomorrow the fish will be plentiful and we will fill our hands with cash and gold. Where are you going, my husband? And this is stormy weather? I want to visit our neighbors behind the wall. Why? It is our duty to advise and exhort them. Why do you preach to a people God will destroy and punish with a severe torment? To apologize to God. What do you mean? I want to preach to the people of my village so that God Almighty will excuse us and know that we have fulfilled our duty and ordered them to do what was ordered to us all. My opinion is that you leave them to their torment. They do not deserve advice. Mm, monkey, people, people, I see a wild monkey. Mm, where did he come from and how did he enter our village? <laughs> he is laughing. Why are you monkey laughing? Your yeah, wise monkey reminds me of an old friend named Samhun. It's me, Samkun. I am Samkun, but I am not a monkey. Behave, monkey. You are the monkey. Wait, wait, I'm starting to understand. We have all turned into monkeys. What cleverness for a monkey. We know this, but what are we going to do? We will appear in front of people as monkeys. To continue to live in any image? <laughs> no one wants to buy fish low. Where did our neighbors go from the village and who are these monkeys? Some horn did not turn into a monkey. I would rather pay all my gold and be human one day. Shall we implore him that we are people of his village and his companions? Perhaps he will help us. Oh, Master Simhan, our chief of fishermen? It is a human voice? How is that? Save our neighbors and the people of the village. Today, we woke up to this situation. There is no power but God. Can you help us get back to being human? How? It is God's command and there is no way to alter it. Praise be to God Almighty, the whales have returned to the sea. My wife, the white what? God has blessed us with our brothers the fishermen and take out a pot to give us arms to our poor neighbors behind the wall. Don't remind me of them. They don't stop fighting and screaming all day. And they do not stop crying and willing and saying all night. This is the outcome for those who anger God. If the offender knew, the horror of the punishment, he would never commit a sin. Ah, I wish we had listened to Meman's words. We are all hungry. He is the only one getting food. Food, death, is a much better than it. The people of Sabbath have become a sign for those who circumvent the law of God or think that they know more about their life than their creator and provider. وَلَقَدْ عَلِمْتُمُ الَّذِينَ اَعْتَدَوْا مِنْكُمْ فِي السَّبْتِ فَقُلْنَا لَهُمْ كُونُوا قِرَدَةً خَاسِئِينَ فَجَعَلْنَاهَا نَكَالًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهَا وَمَا خَلْفَهَا وَمَوْعِظَةً لِلْمُتَّقِينَ